what is up guys Zam from the Zam Madden YouTube channel in today's video we're going to show you guys how to get an absolutely glitchy twisting looping double type of gap pressure I don't even know what to call it this is a great blitz that you guys are going to want to use against the gun tight formation so let's go ahead and kind of show you guys a little bit of a preview of what this is going to look like this is going to be a way that you're going to be able to crisscross the offensive lineman in tight two by two formations this is going to include your tight flex tight doubles tight offset regular gun tight tight slots halfback weak under center tight those types of formations now this particular tip is a really interesting one let's go ahead and talk about how to set this up right off the top there are going to be some ratings and some coach settings that you want to pay attention to now, the thing with this particular setup is that the agility rating is going to be the most important thing as it pertains getting pressure in your front. So the defensive formation that we're going to be running today is the big nickel over G. I actually did a video out of the big nickel over G on some interesting coverage logic. You guys should definitely take a look at that. I put that out yesterday on the channel, and I actually saw a couple of players online already running that just last night but the way that we're going to take a look at this is we're actually going to look at our defensive line and we're going to prioritize high agility on our players now for me i've got this new aiden hutchinson uh you can see right here he's got 99 agility he's got 99 speed 99 excel if we were to take a look into his change of direction rating it's 95. i think that you kind of are looking for players that are as high agility and as high a cod as possible. Then from there, high end speed and acceleration. You want to get off the football very quickly for this to work. So I've got the Aiden Hutchinson. If we take a look, I've got Furious George. I've added the Vikings Kim to him as I have a theme team remix. We'll get to that here momentarily. Uh, he's another player that I have on my D-line that's 96 speed. He's got crazy agility, crazy excel, and he also comes in at 95 COD. Now you can see I've also got John Randall. He's got 99 COD. He's got 97 agility. He's got good speed, good acceleration. He's pretty good as well, although he actually isn't seeing the field today in this video. Actually, we'll maybe talk about that here momentarily. Now, all the way down here at the bottom, I have this Nolan Smith item, and he is a 99 speed, 98 agility, 99 Excel card. But this 98 agility is obviously not his real agility rating if you were to pull him up on a MUT database or just look at his card in game. So with this particular item being a rookie premiere, I want to show you guys that I actually have put an item into a power up path on him to make him better. If you want to improve the agility on one of your rookie premier rushers, simply go in and choose the 32 team token, which will allow you to give any team chemistry to one of those players. For me, I have the Minnesota Vikings, which gives some athleticism boost. So I'm gonna equip that extra token on him. When we go back and take a look at his agility, you're gonna see that it goes all the way up to nearly 98. So this is how you can improve your effectiveness of certain loop pressures with this particular token. And then, of course, right here, I've got Derek Brooks, who is an ultimate item from the Mole Breakers. He's 99 everything as well. So as it pertains our front, we want to go across the board as much agility, acceleration, COD speed as possible. So let's go ahead and kind of talk about our front four. I have gone and put Brooks. I've got Furious George, I've got Aiden Hutchinson, and I've got Nolan Smith. Now, in terms of how we're going to set this up, it's very, very important that you guys go into your coach settings. This tip will not work if you do not run this on auto alignment set to base. The reason for this is that for some reason with the over G, the defensive line lines up differently, even if you have auto flip on in terms of whether or not you set auto alignment to base align or not. If you leave this without the coach setting on, it lines up backwards and you don't want that to be the case. So make sure that you guys turn this on. From there, totally up to you what you guys want to do with this. You guys could go zone coverage set to default if you guys like zone and you want to run zone drops, or you could run match coverage on if you guys like to mix in quarters, palms, and other match style plays. All right, so we're set up here. Let's go ahead and get into this. 
But before we do, I want to let you guys know that we are running our yearly membership pre-sale for Madden 24 on GridironGamePlans.gg. If you guys like this tip out of the Big Nickel over G, I would highly recommend you go over to Gridiron Game Plans as we are including Madden 23 content with your pre-sale. You guys can take a look at everything I have done all year long on GridironGamePlans.gg. Take a look at my over G game plan. Take a look at my match game plan poke around the vault and take a look at all the content that I've shown weekly, breaking down the pro metas and the counters. And also make sure that you guys are taking advantage of the uh, the pre-sale for the purpose of getting everything that I just talked about in Madden 23 in Madden 24 for the low price of $75. That is a $120 value. If you were to go month to month, save yourself about 45 bucks. All right, enough yapping. Let's get to putting this play into practice here. So choose whatever play you want. Again, we are on auto flip base align, and this is going to work against tight formations only. So with this particular tip here, you're going to see that I've got this auto alignment set to base. My defensive line is shifted away from the running back. Now, with this particular tip, what you actually want to do is you want to shift the defensive line further towards the three technique. So if you don't know what a three technique is, find the defensive tackle that's in the B gap. Shift the line that direction, crash up, and QB contain. And when the ball snapped, you'll notice that there is a twisting looping action in which your defensive tackle is going to come all the way around and get into the backfield. Now, this is a really nice looping blitz because it only sends four. The obvious upside with this is with seven in coverage, you can focus on coverage adjustments. This is really just a two step setup, really three if you count the contain which is going to give you most of your time basically spent stopping the most popular route combos in the game. So if you guys struggle with double corners, PA shot seams, you know, all the metas out of this formation, make sure you guys are taking a look at that game plan as part of the presale. Now, right here, I'm going to show you guys what we're doing with this if we set our auto alignment to default. And you'll note that I mentioned the defensive line goes backwards. So you see right here with base align off, you see that our defensive line is now technically undershifted, meaning that, uh, you know, they were kind of overshifted towards the left. Now they're undershifted away from that. So um, again, with this, you have to be on baseline and you see that it kind of puts the defensive line over that direction. So that's kind of tough, right? Um, if you guys do forget for whatever reason to set your baseline on, my recommendation would be probably to flip the formation as soon as you break the huddle. It's like, oh shoot, let me go ahead and flip my, my player and then crash your line and shift it towards the right. So you see that we're kind of able to do it this way. Then we hit our QB contain. It can loop. Um, basically you're looping towards the nickel corner with this. Uh, so again, you see right here how we kind of get that little twist exchange and uh, right there it did get picked up just a little bit. But again, this is why I, I stress to you guys, you want to set this from the default. If you have to you know, flip your formation and then shift your line and then do all that nonsense, uh, it just leads to more random variants. You can, if you want, turn your auto flip off with this. Um, you know, again, you can probably still get away. Like if you want to shift uh, one specific direction, you know, I just want to go right against this. You could, you could do that. You can. So um, again, here you kind of see how this looks. You see how with the base align basically on, you could turn auto flip off and this will work as well. So again, you see here how this looks. Um, I do want to note that if you start to get into glowing players on your defensive line, that can, in a lot of ways, change the targeting of the offensive line. I've said this in a few videos this year, that basically when you deal with a unstoppable force X factor, um, those players tend to want to engage offensive linemen rather than loop around them. So sometimes you'll do this and they will actually like run into the line and change the way the blitz works. So if you have a glowing lineman, that might be something you wish to avoid. Um, it doesn't mean that it can't still loop you kind of saw right there that it did um and you know we were able to get home for a sack either way but if you notice that this works worse when your line is glowing there's probably a reason for that so pay attention to that one last thing that i do want to talk about here in this video is that this is obviously a base rush style blitz with the upside being that you're going to get a free runner um with these types of blitzes being more finesse, um, sometimes players will say, oh, this isn't working for me. The upside is that because it's a base rush, you're still relying on base pass rush potential. And the over G is one of the best shedding formations in Madden from that perspective. So you're not really losing anything. Unlike a lot of other blitzes where it's like, okay, we're running this finesse blitz out of this one formation, we're rushing three or we're rushing four, and it actually isn't a great shedding formation. You're kind of playing all or nothing. 
With this, you're still in a position where at its core, the big nickel over G is most known in Madden as kind of considered to be a base rush formation anyways. Um, and, you know, it sheds well. So if it doesn't come in, don't worry. You're still going to get your sheds, you know, at about three seconds, most snaps anyways. So you're going to be in just fine position. But I will add that if you notice that the offensive line is starting to pick up the blitz a lot, it is really important that you maybe take a look at the blitz X factor. And what I mean by this is I've got John Randall. We go all the way back to the beginning of the video. John Randall is a high agility, high Excel player. And I actually have the blitz X factor. I pay one AP for this. And what it does is it wipes the resistance of the offensive line to zero. So you see right here, he's lit up. And if I were to scroll across all of the offensive linemen, they now have no resistance to everyone on the field. These zero resistance bars are imperative for your offensive line staying confused as to the standard shifts and crashes that players use. If you haven't noticed this before when you play the game, you might have a blitz that works early on. And then in the fourth quarter, you run it against the exact same type of protection. But the offensive line is kind of keen to it and they know where it's coming from they look that direction automatically and it kind of gets picked up well with the blitz x factor on this prevents the offensive line for five consecutive plays from building resistance wipes them clean and then they only have a few plays to build resistance again before this particular x factor turns back on so you're going to see here with this that we can wipe the resistance. And again, we'll set up kind of our blitz here. Again, we could go ahead and run, you know, like our little, you know, coverage shell or, you know, roll our coverage however you wish. And we snap the ball and you see that we get our loop and Nolan Smith and Hutchinson still came in. It's still a great blitz. Even if it doesn't come in clean right away, it's still going to cap them at about three seconds. And then the other players on the field are still going to be basically in a position where uh, they can still shed because you are rushing the minimum of four. So um, again, here, as it pertains to this particular blitz style, uh, you'll note that, you know, we're getting home pretty consistently with this uh, against this pressure. Now, of course, if they do block the running back on this, which a lot of players are five out uh, in this style of offense, uh, it, there does remain the potential for this to get picked up. Um, you see right here that you probably aren't going to want to mess with Aiden Hutchinson against a running back. It's still going to come in pretty effectively. So there's still value in this in terms of, you know, the way that this blitz works, you've got, you know, the running back blocking and you know, the guy's still looping around to meet the running back in the backfield. And then you still have this guy coming through the, you know, the B gap on this as well. So this is truly one of the better kept blitz secrets in the game. I wanted to take a peek behind the curtain on gridirongameplans.gg. Guys, I'm going to be totally honest with you. This is a July tip. So if you guys really like this particular tip, make sure you guys are taking advantage of our pre-sale offer. Again, you guys can head over to gridirongameplans.gg, 35% off the yearly membership for Madden 24, and it's going to unlock everything in Madden 23 as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys right back here on Monday with our next YouTube upload. I appreciate everybody supporting the channel all summer. It's great. Madden season's around the corner. I'll see you guys Monday. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.